B A J S U Domine Dona. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, I've actually just experienced the Holy Grail, and that Holy Grail is the ability to completely provision a three-tier service: web tier, app tier, uh, database tier. The entire thing with the applications pre-installed, the website already installed, SQL already installed, the whole thing by clicking a couple of buttons in VMM 2012. Now, there's a lot of work that goes into it. And in fact, this recent series that I put together for CBT Nuggets on the 70-247 exam, spend some time going through all the building blocks you have to lay in a place. But I put together a quick micro nugget on the actual deployment that should impress you as well. So take a look and let me get back to my being impressed. Dona is requiem. We got one more piece. Right, and that one final piece is actually the load balancer. So I just click the link here for load balancer. The load balancer appears. I've got to kind of drag it over here so we can all see it. And so this load balancer has a couple of different configurations that we have to lay into place. A server connection and a client connection. And the way we actually do this is relatively simple. I just simply click the connector link here and connect up our server connection there and our client connection to the logical network and I'm done. Wow, wouldn't it be great if NLB were just that easy? Well, actually, now it actually can be that easy. So this completes really what we need to do in order to create our three-tier service. Now, we're not done yet, right? All we've done is created the template at this point. In order for us to actually deploy it out, we actually also have to create, in addition to the template, we have to create what's called a service deployment configuration. This service deployment configuration, just like we did back with that last uh, single service, the Java middleware service you see here, effectively maps the resources that we're going to use whenever we deploy the template. So virtual machines, uh, applications, all the stuff that's in the fabric that needs to get provisioned in order to create that service. So that's essentially the last step in the process. We save and validate. And once we've saved and validated this template, well, the last piece here is to actually configure a deployment. Now, this deployment, if we punch in just, I don't know, uh, our three-tier service, will allow us to then deploy out, as I said, all the things that make up that template down into equipment and, and, and resources that exist inside the fabric here. So into our cloud, we have our three-tier service, and then there's the database tier, the application tier, and the web tier. Down below this are the connections into the VM network, that logical network, and also the load balancer that we've connected up to the web tier. If we had any variables here, right, if we put any, any of those uh, at sign, variable name at sign, those variables will show up here as settings, and these settings would need to be entered in to complete the service deployment configuration. So this will, again, give us the ability to customize this at the point of deployment. Now, in this case, rather than actually punch in variable names, instead what we've done is use the hash mark to give us numbers here associated with the web tier, the mid tier, and DB tier. So when we deploy this, we're going to get three VMs, we're going to get a load balancer, and everything interconnected with all the applications installed. Now, you may be wondering, well, why am I getting web tier 02 and mid tier 02 and DB tier 02 here as opposed to 01? Well, thanks to the magic of videoing, I've actually already deployed this service out. And this service deployment actually takes an extended period of time, uh, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, uh, at least with the equipment that we have here. In fact, uh, this specific installation is all run on SSD drives, so I've got it about as fast as I possibly can. You're still talking about 30, 35 minutes to get the service completely deployed. Flipping back over here to our VMs and services node, most of us are used to dealing with VMs and services as virtual machines. So in our VMs and services node, we usually look at VMs. However, when we deploy a service, what we get are not just the VMs, but all the resources that are associated with that service. So our three-tier service here that we've deployed is running. All of the VMs are accessible. We're using the new template. And in fact, here are all of the different tiers that exist in that service. So we're not focusing so much on VMs. We're focusing on the resources themselves. In the application tier is one server. On that server is going to be one application, which in this case is Java JRE 1.7. So this helps us understand what we've actually deployed to create this very large service. Uh, the database itself is going to have a database, uh, a SQL profile attached to it. The web server down here is going to have, well, web servers associated with it and also web applications. 
So this service, again, is the consolidation of everything that makes up what it is that we've been asked to deploy. Want to learn more? Check out cptnuggets.com.